What's up, cousins? Hey guys, Anthony Jones here. We are sitting in the parking lot of the local Home Depot here in Athens, Georgia. And this video is my top five products that you could find in a Lowe's or a Home Depot, a big box store for your John Boat build. Now, when I say John Boat build, that could be your John Boat to Bass Boat conversion. That could be a Jet John build. Um, it could be any kind of small boat modification that you're doing. I feel that these products are very important. You could walk right into one of these stores and buy these products. Guys, this is my personal opinion, okay? I'm not claiming to be a professional boat builder. I am a serious hobbyist, and um, I'm just documenting my build process and sharing the knowledge that I have with you. I do have a background in construction and project management, so I, I kind of already know a lot of these products, um, and they've worked in my build. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk the store aisles. I'm gonna show it to you on the shelf. We're gonna do a little bit of product knowledge. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the materials of what I know. Don't know it all, but I'm gonna tell you what I do. And then we're gonna take it back to the tiny boat garage and we're gonna look at my boat build and I'm gonna show you those materials utilized in my build process. And uh, I think this video could be great for, for guys that are just getting in the John boat game. Or if you've been in it and you have some builds under your belt, maybe you haven't seen some of these techniques or utilized some of these products. So hopefully you can take something away from it, guys. That's what it's all about. Um, man, let's get started. Let's get in the store and see what they got. So before we get started, I just want to throw out there that, um, that Home Depot is going to carry a lot of the products that I utilize in my build. I'm a Home Depot fanboy, but also... Lowe's is going to have some things that Home Depot doesn't. I've noticed that there are some product variations from store to store. So I'll uh, I'll show you in the video what I get from Lowe's and what I get from Home Depot. Sorry, Home Depot. But um, Lowe's does have a better variety of certain things. And they actually have a couple things that you cannot find here at Home Depot. Um, another thing I want to say was Michael Lopez. I reached out to him recently. He did a video, a shopping trip video that's very similar to this concept. And um, I just wanted to thank him because I reached out to him and told him that uh, he kind of beat me to something that I had planned on doing for a while. And um, he said, man, go ahead and shoot your video. And so uh, if you haven't seen his video, check that out because there's a lot of useful information in there. And I just want to tell Michael, thank you for being so cool about that because I really had thought about this a long time ago but with the kids and moving and everything. I just hadn't had time to do it. So um, let's get to it, guys. Now let's talk wood, wood for framing. I'm gonna show you what I used in my build. And um, again, this is just what I used. I've got a lot of questions and I know I've mentioned it before, but this is rough grain, rough grain, Western red. Okay, it's 987 a stud. Okay, this is what I used in Top Gun John Boat. Now, let me explain this. It's gonna come with this rough grain and then it's gonna come at a different measurement than your standard two by four. Standard two by four is gonna be three and a half by an inch and a half. This is gonna be an inch and three quarters by three and three quarters. So if you wanna rip this into a two by two like I did, you're just gonna need a table, table saw to go ahead and rip this down to an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Blast it with some sandpaper, smooth it out, and then hit it with some oil-based paint, and you are good to go. It's built to last for the John Boat build. Um, again, this is what I use. It is a premium price. You could get three number two prime studs for the same cost as this, but this is what I prefer because I've used this in my construction background when I did exterior wood rot repairs on homes. I use this a lot on windowsill replacement, guys. So I know that this is resilient to moisture and it's got some natural capabilities to prevent wood rot. So that's what I'm using. I also feel that this is a lighter wood than pine. And um and, and so that's what that's what I'm using in my boat build. You can get it in the two by four fashion. You can get it in a two by six variation. Or if you go ahead and finish your John boat build, you could really get some brownie points from the wife and build her a beautiful farmhouse table. And they've got these four by fours for the legs. Okay, one other thing that I like to use for framing is on this aisle where all the beautiful trim is. Um, I get these a lot. They are, where are they? That's PVC. I use these a lot in the bill, guys. It's gonna be a, it's a one by two, eight foot. They're $3.12 a piece. This is great for mock-ups, like on hatches, anything that's not gonna be structural. I've used these on my, if you watch my DIY video on how I did my tackle storage in my stow compartment, I framed that whole stow out of these uh, one by twos. Um, so I've utilized these. I utilize this size in the live well build. Um, all it is is prime pine 
And um, so those, the one by threes, 475, 478. Um, so it's just prime pine. I like that because these are typically very straight. They've got a nice smooth finish. They've already got primer on them, which is kind of, I guess, going to give you an extra layer of protection. So um, I just cut them up and use them. Again, non-structural, so you don't want to be walking on these. If it's something like, a, like I said, a side hatch or a rod locker or something for reinforcement, these work great. I just want to mention these because this is one product, the Silex product, I find here at Home Depot to be a step above what Lowe sells. Um, I've gotten the same um, style from Lowe's, but man, the, the primer will be runny all over them. They won't be as smooth, not just not as good quality. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there because I said that each store does sell different variations of different products. So this is where I get my prime pine for my Jumbo build. All right, let's talk plywood for decking. Um, I know that I stated in my framing video or one of my videos that I run quarter inch. I actually do use quarter inch for some of my panels and some of my mock-ups within my hatches. This is the quarter inch that I would use. It's uh, $20.62 for a sheet. Um, I misspoke and got some feedback on one of my videos that there's no way I could be running quarter inch on my decking. And you're right, I've apologized for that if I messed anybody up, but this is what I run is 11 30 seconds for my decking and you can see it's very very thin but it's just one it has one more veneer um, thickness than the quarter inch does so it's just a little bit thicker and um, that that one more uh, panel within the construction of that sheet of plywood actually makes a huge difference but um, I'm going to show you how I treat this stuff and again I've told you in my in my framing video it's all in the framing I'm not relying on my plywood for my deck strength I mean we could straight up use something like this if you wanted to all day long and um, your boat's going to weigh 5,000 pounds but um, I'm talking about lightweight which is why I use the uh, the western red ripped into two by two construction and then I'm talking lightweight by using this 11 30 second plywood and then of course I treat it in fiberglass resin which helps strengthen it and then oil based paint over but there's a lot of stuff in here guys I actually use this as well it's uh, more expensive but it's a 15 30 second uh, now this stuff you don't want to get wet and I know that I've seen some other guys use this as well for um, for like rod lockers or inside of your panels for anything that you want super lightweight that's just in there to contain things um, you could use that I think I might have used this on my switch panel or I used a quarter inch I've I use a variation of these I, I, if you go in my garage you're gonna see some of that some of the quarter and some of the 11 30 second throughout my build all right, gentlemen, to talk about the framing and the plywood that's used in the construction of this build, we are going to get this thing naked, so let me take the deck apart. So here's the framing package, of course. This is the custom rip 2x2 uh, two two Redwood. Um, if you have not seen my uh, framing video, my walkthrough, please watch that. It'll go into a lot more detail as far as this setup's concerned. But um, that's, that's how I use the Redwood in this build. And... Um, it's mainly up front, uh, center bench was existing and then rear bench was existing and I did do a little bit of framing in the rear. Um, but mainly this is a good example to show you how I use that redwood. Um, also you'll see a variation of the plywoods in here. Um, you'll see that I, I built this battery box here and um, you'll see that that's uh, definitely quarter inch as thin as that is. Um, and uh, actually the whole thing is, I just ran a piece of trim around the top to stiffen this up. Um, you'll also see my dividers. I've used plywood in here. Uh, I think that is, I think that three quarter inch is what I used in there because that actually stiffens this framing up. It runs under there as a support. You'll see on the inside of this hatch, let's see what this one's made out of. That's going to be, uh, what is that? Three quarter inch, three quarter inch, uh, with another runner on the back of that. Um, now these are... These hatches are the 11 32nd with a piece of quarter inch on the underside of that. See how thin that is? It just doubles it up and stiffens it up. Um, I did that a little bit different because that covers my battery and my battery terminals need clearance, which is why there's two cutouts there. Um, and then back here, we can talk about like this, this switch panel. This is that real thin, see that real, real, real thin plywood I, I pointed out to you guys that like a uh, cabinet wood or whatever um, project panel. And um, I've just I've just oil base painted it and then wrapped it in carbon fiber and then the same thing here. So that that should show you um, a few examples 
of how I have utilized the thin, the real thin project panel, the uh, 11 32nd and the quarter inch, and then three quarter inch plywood right there in my framing and my casting deck. One of my favorite aisles, the hardware aisle, where you can get all kinds of goodies. I know I've talked about them in the past, but um, let's talk about screws, okay? These are what I use in my build. And I'm gonna show you specifically, if I could find them, it's gonna be these. The Uber Grade multi-purpose screws, the R4, okay? It's got that thread lock on the top of them. That's why I like to utilize these in my builds. Again, they're a premium price. Um, if money's not an issue, this is what I'm using. Um, I believe in using a good quality screw uh, that can hold your build together for years and years to come. Now I've used, I've actually used this grade with the uh, wider head, even though it says cabinet screws, you could utilize these when you need a wider head to lock something in that's not going to get a lot of moisture on it. And I really, really use these trim head screws when i was just talking about the one buys that i attach for my stow compartments or for my live wells i like to use these because these have a very very tiny head they hide really really well and um if you drill like a 1 8 uh, pilot hole and then stick these through your wood won't split because it doesn't have that large head on them now i'm going to use these in like a two inch variation normally um, but man, I love I love all the products that these guys make and I've utilized a lot of these different screws within the build process of the Top Gun Jumbo. Um, when I was talking on my framing video of what I should have used on the side mounting my framing through, I should have used one of these, honestly, and I may go back and replace that um, because right now I'm just running a lag, which is not the most aesthetically please, pleasing thing to look at. But um, they've got a lot of this stuff. Now, if you want to talk about just what you can use that if you're balling on a budget, I would strongly recommend using some Deckmate screws. Um, they make them in green and they make them in tan. Now, obviously, you're not going to buy $100 worth of them, but these are the first ones I've seen. So you could get these. Um, and then the stainless screws that I went with, we're gonna have to go over to Lowe's because honestly, they've got a better selection of stainless screws. So we'll bounce over there and I'll show you what I get from there. All right guys, we're over here at Lowe's. We are on the screw aisle. And what we're looking at here is they've got the same, the GRK Uber grade. That's what I call them, the GRK fasteners. They've got the same ones here as they do at Home Depot. So you could pick them up here or there. That is very rare to find the same products from Home Depot to Lowe's. Normally they're gonna sell different brands because they've got different contracts with their vendors. But what Lowe's does has, and this is what I was talking about, they've got these Power Pro screws, guys. And I've used these, these are really, really good. I normally go with the GRKs because I pick those up at Home Depot. I shop there a lot more often, but I have used these. And I've kind of forgot about these. I need to get some while I'm here. But what, what I really like are these little, little small ones. Look at those, that screams tiny boat build because I could utilize these a lot of different ways on small um, panels or um, for example those L brackets um, these will work great on those L brackets so this is just an example why you should shop if you've got a Home Depot and a Lowe's very close to each other in your town you should shop at both of them because you're gonna find different products in each store you could utilize within the build process now I've already said I really like Home Depot but honestly man I come to Lowe's for the stainless because look at this dude like will you look at that I mean, for real, you could get, I mean, this is stainless heaven. So in my build, obviously I like to use stainless um, where it's necessary. Um, if it's something that's gonna go into the wood and get covered up painted, then you don't have to, you can. I'm trying to find what I like to use a lot of. Number six is, I use a lot of number six, three quarter um, with the, uh, make sure you get the flat head, not the pan head. And so you'll see a lot of those are sold out. It's a very popular size. So I use the number six, the half inch over there. Use those a lot. Um, I have used the pan head or the oval head Phillips for certain things. Um, normally I'm going flat. But uh, I feel like this section here, they have a lot more inventory. And it's just it's just placed in such a way that where you can really find it. Um, find what you need another thing um, with the screws let's kind of look at what i did you can see here is a exposed screw that's a star bit so that's going to be one of those screws i was telling you about by grk um, if you look 
how I did did my wiring running to um, there is a a hidden LED light underneath here for that hatch um, my wiring to that I used those uh, those number what were those number six and I don't know exactly what size these were it's been so long these could be um, probably half inch maybe three quarter um, but you'll notice they do have that oval head um, I've used the flat heads let me see if I could find a spot in here with those I don't see any spots up front that I've used them unless I use them um, with this hardware and then they just got painted over which uh, it's probably the case. Um, I try to use stainless everywhere in here I could. So there's just a couple examples of the screws I've used. And then if you actually even go into here, now I had to kind of angle these um, because I, I, I um, had barely enough room to get these to, to get in. But these are those oval, um, oval head, uh, just a larger side um, screw. So um, for, for that, but uh, that's, uh, and then we go over here, actually there's more stainless on on the usb ports so it's uh, all stainless and then those grk construction screws unfortunately i don't have anything up front that shows the trim head and if i did it's probably gotten covered up with um with some sort of a dowel or it's hidden so i don't have a whole lot of exposed screws i wanted to give the front end the presentation of uh of almost almost it being seamless no screws um no screws at all when you open hatches so um very hard to find but i did i did utilize those in here somewhere also with these stainless screws i've incorporated them in the switch panel for holding this on i use these for my rear pole light those are the uh the rounded oval i've used them in the back on my metal work i've used them here for where my fuel will go um my my line will come out to the motor down into the uh, tank and then also another thing I've done is, um, guys, I've used them on the underside of these of these latches um, because these are plastic. They're not the greatest. So when I modify these, I actually use them to hold them in. I drill some pilot holes and I use them in there as well. Another little trick if you're using those. I mean, heck, dude, I've even used them on the underside of uh of those uh brackets for the catches for the latches so I've, I've used them i bet i've even used them i have i've used them on the led lights they're everywhere stainless screws everywhere all the way around the light bar right there stainless everywhere there's a minute you can't have back of your life but there's stainless screws all throughout my build Hey cousins, that's it for this video. We're actually turning this into a two-part video series because I started editing and realized I had way too much content to cram it into one video. So we're going to do a two-part series. So thank you guys for watching. Hey man, check out my good friends at Gunning and Scales. They're on Instagram. And if you go to their website at Gunning and Scales, you can enter um, Top Gun John Boat at checkout to receive 10% off your order. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, may your tiny boat builds be great.